everyone! Welcome to another episode of Firebase Releases Deep Dive. Today, I'm going to cover the Vertex AI for Firebase that is available in public preview. Vertex AI is a service from Google Cloud that helps developers build generative AI features with the Gemini API, among other dozens of things. Until recently, Vertex AI's SDKs only supported service-side languages, so you would need to build your backend to use it from your client apps. But now, the Firebase team released client-side SDKs, so you can call the Vertex AI Gemini API directly from your mobile or web apps. It's completely serverless. These SDKs are available for Apple platforms, Android, Flutter, and web. With these client-side SDKs, you can, for example, add AI personalization to your app, build an AI chat experience, create AI-powered optimizations and automation, and much more. Oh, and it also integrates nicely with other Firebase services like authentication, cloud storage, remote config, and app check. And speaking of app check, you can use Firebase app check to protect the Vertex AI Gemini API from abuse by unauthorized clients, since it enables you to verify that all API calls are from your actual app. When you enable app check enforcement, requests from clients without a valid attestation will be rejected as will any requests originating from an app or platform that you haven't authorized. You can confidently and securely use the Gemini API directly from your apps. And now that you know what you can do with this new SDKs, let's see what the developer workflow looks like to integrate it in an Android app. First, you need to set up a Firebase project and connect your app to it, which you can do via the Firebase console. As you can see here, I've already created my projects and I have an Android app where I'm using some Firebase services. So let's go ahead and integrate with the Gemini API. To do so, click on Build with Gemini, which will take you to this page. The option that you're looking for is Build AI-powered apps with the Gemini API. Scroll down a bit and click on Get Started. The Get Started guide takes you through all the necessary steps from setting up a billing account to enabling APIs. Once you finish going through all those steps, you land on the Build with the Gemini API page. Here on this page, click on View Vertex AI SDK Instructions. It will take you to the documentation where you can see all the code you need to add the dependency for the Vertex AI SDK, initialize the Vertex AI service and the generative model, and call the Vertex AI Gemini API from your code base. With this in hand, let's go to Android Studio. Once you've added the dependency to your Build Gradle file, it's time to add the model initialization code. For this demo, I'm using the latest Gemini 1.5 Flash model. Once it's initialized, I need to work on the prompt. That can be anything I want, the possibilities are endless. Here in this example, I'm working on a note-taking app and I want to create a welcome poem for my users. So my prompt is, write a four-line poem to welcome the new users to a note-taking app. Next, I need to call generative model generate content and pass the text input. And last, I can access the response from the API by calling response text. In my case, I'm going to save the welcome note in Firestore by calling storage service create note. Now, all that is left to do is run the app. And here's my welcome note. Welcome, dear friend, to a world of words, where thoughts take flight like soaring birds. Capture ideas, big and small, with notes that grow and stand so tall. Aw, thanks, Gemini! And this is just the start. Since Gemini is multimodal, you can also make calls to the API with other types of inputs, such as images, video, and more. And by the way, you can use Cloud Storage to do that. Once you integrate Cloud Storage in your app, you just need to get the URL and content type of the file and pass it to the SDK. That makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? If you want to understand Gemini models in detail and learn what else you can do with them, I've added some documentation links to the description below, so definitely check that out. And now you have all you need to get started with using Vertex AI SDKs in Android, Flutter, Apple platforms, and web apps. Thank you for watching and happy coding!